Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So now I thought I'd give you like a little mini Dubai haul, which I was certain stuff that's bought in Sephora. As you, if you follow me on Snapchat, you probably have seen certain stuff that I bought and I thought I'd just show you what I got today. So basically, I've, I've always told you about the Makeup Forever Brush Cleaner. It's amazing. It cleans your brushes in like five seconds and dries in the same amount of time. So I got this, um, I ran out of it and um, I just thought I'd top up on this because if you do freelance or if you just want your makeup brushes quick to dry before I let out, this is amazing and it lasts for about maybe one to two months, just depending on how much you use it. So I have to get this again. And I also got the Makeup Forever Camouflage 5 Palette Concealer. I've wanted this for ages. I've always went into Debenhams in um, Oxford Street just to get um, it, but it's always sold out. It's got this for colour correcting, this for contouring. You could use it to highlight. You could also use that to contour slightly on the nose. I could use that, use that to highlight. I'll say this palette's really good for a medium to deep skin tone, but um, this is always sold out, so I'm really surprised I had it here. So I got that from Makeup Forever. I also got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, which I've gotten now. It may have worn out because I've just come from going out and it was just quite humid. But um, I've also, this is in a number 178. Um, I did a video a few months ago, well, I think about three weeks ago, on the 177, which I got, and a lot of people had mixed reviews saying it was either too light or they didn't like the finish in my skin. And I did like 177, but I feel like it would be good for winter when I get a bit lighter. But um, I feel like 178 is slightly a bit on the warm side, but um, I would be able to mix 177 and 178 to get the perfect match. So I'm glad I got this colour because um, I can really just mix it and match so I don't have to buy two different ones without really knowing. As you guys know, I love the NARS Radiant Cream and Concealer. I sort of go in, like, I sort of love and hate it at times, but I actually really love it now. Um, I've got two colours. One's Cafe and one's Caramel. Um, Cafe is my own natural skin tone, which I just use for blemishes and under my eyes if I'm going for a natural day. Um, I usually use Amande, but Amande, I find that throughout the day, it does oxidise on my skin personally, and then the highlight just looks a bit too natural, so I went for Caramel because it's a tiny bit lighter, and these concealers last for so long. I've still got my cafe at home, but I thought, I thought I'd buy a fresh one because I did buy a cafe three years ago, and you do have to change your makeup every two years, I think, with concealers and foundations, just because they do go off. So yeah, I thought I'd get a new two of those. The Oil Free Pro Prime Refining Primer. Um, I did want the one with SPF, but they were sold out of that, but um, I thought it wasn't a big deal because um, primers don't really have a high percentage of SPF anyway, so because I'm in Dubai, the primer isn't really going to protect me that much from the sun, so I got SPF separate from that, and I actually got the NARS primer just to um, obviously give me a more mattifying finish. So this is really good for um, anyone with combination or oily skin. Um, it doesn't last that long, but you only need a tiny bit. I wish I could make it in a bigger size, but um, I do really like this primer. I've used it before, so I thought I'd just have a try of it again because I'm not really liking the makeup for everyone anymore because I just feel like it's just a bit too matte and clay for me, but this one's really liquidy, so it's really, really nice on the skin. Um, as you guys know, I've seen them, I've been like before, you've had to go to the women's, women's salon to get um, previous products from there, and they, they don't allow men in the salon because it's a women's salon in Dubai, but she's now stopped in Sephora around around the city of Dubai, so you can get it in all Dubai's in Model Emirates, Dubai Mall, and I'm sure other Sephora's because it's exclusive to Sephora. And I got my hands on two of the, whoops. Whoops, I got my hands on two of the illuminators. This is in So Hollywood, which I've got on there. And I've got on Peach Nectar. I'll show you So Hollywood. This one is the most popular one. Um, if you know Beauty in the Blog, Michelle, she raves on about these highlighters, so I had to get So Hollywood because it looks gorgeous on her. That's So Hollywood there. It's a really gold, kind of light shimmering perfecta. Um, it's a sort of similar to the um, Becca Topaz, but it's a tiny bit lighter, and it's just really, really nice. Um, I've got it on today, and it really goes on the skin really smoothly, and this is my favourite one of all. And the second one I got was Peach Nectar. This is more of a peachy kind of highlighter. It's kind of like cheeky bronze from MAC without being so uh, mineralised. Um, I'll show you this. That's kind of a pinkish tone. I think it would go well with um, sort of medium to deep skin tones and light too. But as I prefer the gold one, but the pinkish one will look nice if you just want to switch it up kind of a lot. And I also got my Adelaide Bubbly Hill 
I got um, a dip brow in Auburn. It was kind of weird to see all the dip brows out so I could actually swatch them because when you order them online, like from Cult Beauty or Blow Bar, um, it's really hard to see which colours will suit you. I've got Auburn on. I've got Auburn on now, but um, Auburn is a tiny bit too light for me. But I think when you put concealer underneath it, it really makes it pop. But um, I had to add an extra bit of pencil just to make it a bit more defined. But Auburn is a really nice colour. Um, I probably would have gone darker, but Auburn is actually really nice and I did make it work. And underneath the um, eyebrows, not my eyebrows, I've got um, the Anastasia brow, Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in 6.0. And um, you can use this on blemishes as well, but um, I know a lot of people use this for the underbrows. It's really cre it's really creamy, and it's got the same consistency as the Becca um, Skin Enhancer. It's really similar to that, but not as heavy. And it's a really perfect colour for medium, well, dark skin tones to highlight under the eye and under the brow. It's a bit like NC45 mixed with NC NC50. Um, I also got, I won't show you these because I've already showed these before, Brow Wizzes, everyone uses them. I got them in soft brown and medium brown just because I feel like um, dark brown was just a bit too dark for me. So I'm going to mix these two. But I've got on soft brown in my brow today just to go over it so they're not as dark. And that's it guys. Um, I also got a Clarisonic but it's in the bathroom. But I'm going to do a separate review on that. And... Um, Half of my vlogs gonna be in this from today, but if you have any requests for me, what you what you want me to do while I'm in Dubai, let me know because I'm here for the next ten to nine days, and I'll show you some new stuff, what I'm doing, and some new makeup tutorials, and some new looks for matte skin. So I'll see you guys soon, and have a good weekend. Bye. Hi guys, we're on our way to the gym. Um, hopefully this walk won't kill me too much. Okay, let's go. You know what? Oh, no, it's just zoomed in. Fucking hell. Okay. Just on the way to. I'm trying to think which way it is. Um. What's this way? So, this is my way to the gym. It's really hot out here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna survive walking because you really can't walk anywhere. work track once you go on holiday but um as I was saying oh my god this walk looks um I don't think I'm gonna survive this walk you know literally but about I'm in this area called Silicon Oasis and this is like it's like um it's like Silicon Valley's basically but of like the building world I think but um there's so much construction going on that I'll show you at the gym I look super cute right okay I'm not sure which way the gym is now I think it's around the corner but um yeah I think oh, it's so cute I'm actually using a different camera to vlog shit what is that oh. but um yeah see you guys in a sec this gym that's where in Dubai people are so bad with directions okay guys so I've walked all this way I'm gonna turn the brightness up so I've walked all this way to find out the gym is fucking closed 
fuck's sake. Okay. Look at that. So it opened at 5.30, closed at 10, it opens at 2. Who closes the gym for two hours? Foolishness. Hold on. Is that a gym there? No. Looks like I'm going home.